let me introduce myself. Uh, uh, I am uh, Ankit Deep, working as a scientist senior scale in uh, National Dairy Research Institute. Uh, I, I would be uh, presenting paper is on evaluation of selected solvents as an alternative for efficient milk fat extraction from ghee residue. So, uh, in this paper, what what has been done is that uh, as we all know that ghee residue is a byproduct, and this byproduct is produced as a result of production of ghee and approximately 10% of uh, it is produced per unit weight of ghee produced and it contains 50 to 70 percent fat by weight uh, but conventionally industries what they are using is they are using a hot water method which is energy intensive and also produce huge amount of waste water so uh, what has been done in this paper is that solvents have been used as a replacement to this method and it has been compared with the conventional method with respect to its energy efficiency and also it has been optimized the solvent extraction uh, method has been optimized. It has been tried to optimize. So these are the two objectives: optimization of the extraction condition and then comparison with the conventional ghee sample. So these are the four solvents which were selected. First one was ethanol within boiling point of 78, and uh, it is a grass uh, grass status, which is generally recommended as safe. Then DMC dimethyl carbonate, ethyl acetate, and uh, two methyl tetrahydrofuran. So uh, these uh, solvents were selected uh, with respect to their status, uh, whether they are safe to use in food products or not. In Out of this uh, number 2 and 4, as we can see that uh, they have uh, LD50 of uh, 13.8 and 5.75, which is uh, high enough, but uh, for research purpose, we are just uh, trying that whether they can be used or not. Uh, now, this was the process of solvent extraction in which the ghee residue was uh, mixed, grounded, then mixed with solvent in the ratio 5 is to 1. It was heated at 50 degrees Celsius with continuous mixing at 100 RPM for 30 minutes. Then the resultant uh, was uh, filtered so that uh, solvent milk uh, filtrate was produced. Then it uh, uh, solvent was evaporated and finally it, uh, it was heated to extract the milk fat. Now, uh, out of those four solvents, two additional were also used, the, uh, one as water and another one uh, as hexane, which is industrially used for many other processes. So, out of these uh, steps, there were visual observation made and uh, we saw that uh, in this uh, process, finally the ghee-like appearance only appeared with dimethyl carbonate and ethyl acetate uh, of which dimethyl carbonate has boiling point of 90.5 and ethyl acetate has a boiling point of 77.1. So, because of this ghee-like appearance, these two were selected for further studies and it was proposed that uh, uh, instead of 50 degrees Celsius uh, solvent extraction, we would be keeping two temperatures. One is 50 degrees Celsius and one is uh, 10 to 12 degrees Celsius below their boiling point. So, uh, uh, for this DMC at 50 and 80 was used, which is dimethyl carbonate at 50 degrees Celsius, 80 degrees Celsius, then ethyl acetate at 50 and 65. So that we have two temperatures and two solvents, so total four combinations. It was compared with the ghee. So that, uh, so we, uh, uh, we uh, studied the yield of the fat extracted, then fatty acids, instrumental color, lipid profile. And we saw that out of all those four combi uh, combinations, ethyl acetate at 65 degrees Celsius resulted in a best yield out of these four. So, uh, uh, we compared that all other parameters were uh, not that much similar, but they were different. Uh, but then also, we uh, for research purpose carried on with the ethyl acetate 65 degrees Celsius. We did uh, FTR absorbance spectral analysis and we found that out of all four and the control G sample, these seven peaks were the uh, prominent peaks of or we can say characteristic peak of ghee uh, and uh, which was produced from ghee residue as well as control ghee and these seven peaks which have been uh, indicated here as in wave number the bond so we we found that ethyl acetate at 65 degrees celsius has no significant difference with control ghee and all other three combinations had these significant differences in the highlighted red portions only ethyl acetate 65 had no difference no significant difference with the control ghee Sample. Then we also did DSC thermograph of different milk fat and we still compared, still uh, uh, noted 
that all of these four combination along with ghee control had similar combination similar uh, graphs and uh, this uh, peak one it is it was uh, due to melting of medium uh, melting dry glycerides and uh, peak two was uh, or plateau two was for a melting of high melting dry glycerides so all the four samples or all the four combinations uh, are giving the similar profiles so no such uh, difference was noted similar was the case with rheological attributes to so be noted that rheology also followed the similar kind of trends so no such conclusive study D could be obtained in this case uh, now flow behavior index with respect to rheology only the experiments were done to determine the viscosity at different shear rates and the shear rates at uh, at 20 hertz was selected for plotting uh, another bar graph for viscosity with respect to different combination and we noted that ethyl acetate at this 60 degree celsius was was uh, not having any significant difference with the control so it was matching in the profile now uh, with respect to that we noted that ethyl acetate 65 was having uh, the better results now uh, uh, of the other objective comparison we compared the industrial method with the experimental method in the industrial method this is the flow chart where we noted that mixing with water in 10 to 1 and heating up to 80 degrees celsius uh, in this case the time uh, taken is 30 minute energy is 18 Thousand kilojoules per calorie, uh, kilojoules per kil, uh, kilograms. Then uh, cooling of mixture in the refrigerator, it took 185 minutes and energy 13,500 kilojoules per kilogram. So overall, the time took uh, taken in the industrial method is 200. 15 minutes and energy uh, input was 31500 kilograms kilojoules per kilogram with respect to experimental method it had a lesser time of 100 minutes and energy of 18000 kilojoules per kilogram so we could conclude that with respect to both of those objectives uh, we could say that ethyl acetate and dimethyl carbonate were suitable for milk fat extraction but as the temperature of extraction increased the efficacy of extraction for both of the solvents increased from uh, for dmc it was 45 to 49 and for ethyl acetate it, it rose up from 48 to 52 instrumental color values and fta uh, uh, ir spectra were also similar uh, as we have compared for all but uh, uh, as ethyl acetate was getting better in the previous uh, this result so we compared it uh, we we have concluded for ethyl acetate that it, it was also similar then uh, fat extraction efficacy was suitable with respect to ethyl acetate at 5 degree celsius and fat extraction it had 70 57% lesser energy and also no waste water generation so we could uh, have a conclusion that ethyl acetate to be used as fat extraction uh, from the residue can be considered as a better solvent extraction method with respect to industrially applied methodologies because it is giving better yields it is giving the uh, energy saving and also no waste water generation is there so future scope could be that fatty acid profile uh, flavor profile could be studied and shelf life study can also be studied thank you yeah that's a very good presentation uh, with the practical application okay if there is no query uh, uh, you have applied the optimization so uh, uh, means you have not applied any standard method of optimization is there any reason sir basically what we do, did was we studied various uh, temperature as well as uh, time for fat extraction but mm. we found out that uh, uh, by applying those methodologies it was uh, getting much more cumbersome so we mm. we straight away applied that uh, uh, out of those combinations in the preliminary trial we mm. found that this uh, 10 degree celsius less than the boiling point would be suitable uh, uh, with respect to the uh, different temperatures because uh, it was having uh, many trials with replications okay. so to reduce the work we did preliminary study and we we used this particular method yeah, yeah sometimes it's uh, better to use normal method rather than statistical method of optimization uh, you are very correct process you have optimized whether this has 
validated at large scale or it is scale at uh, lab scale? Sir, it is uh, validated at lab lab scale. Uh, industrial trials are yet to be performed, mm -hmm. and uh, out of this uh, research study, uh, research paper has also been communicated and accepted as well. Yeah, because you have uh, mispresented in a very good way and it, it it is having a practical application so that was uh, my question means it should be validated at large scale only then only it is the uh, means uh, use of this study so it's a good you have saved a lot of energy congratulations and thank you very much okay. thank, thank you, you sir.